Hi, I'm Carl at the Woodshop TV. In this video, we're gonna make some utensil handles. I'm gonna do two different styles, and at the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit more about them. Let's get started. The Woodshop is sponsored by these fine companies and viewers like you. I'm doing two different styles in this video. The first one, I'm gonna use a mandrel. So you need to drill a hole in it with a 5 16 inch drill bit, about an inch and a quarter in depth. And the second one is a quarter inch drill bit, about an inch and a half down. The mandrel I'm using is from Ruth Niles. You can thread these on by hand, but I find it easier and it lines it up a little bit better if you use the tail stock, find center on the other end, and just put a little bit of pressure as it threads itself on. I have the Lace Fit 3000. I'm going to use an inch and a half roughing gouge to true it up and then switch to a half inch spindle gouge to shape it. Most of the colors where it threads on are a little bit different size. This particular one is 5 8 so I'm going to use a set of calipers and a parting tool to bring that down. After you have it shaped, I would run through a couple of the coarser grits before you part off that little nub at the end, just so it doesn't put too much pressure where it threads into the mandrel. And then I used a skew chisel to part it off, and then hand sanded up that little nub at the end, and then ran through all the rest of the grits up to 600. I put two coats of clear lacquer on this and I waited about two hours in between coats. For this style here, it's basically the same process except you're turning it in between centers. I used a roughing gouge to true it up and then a spindle gouge to shape it. Before you part it off, run through all the grits up to 600. That way you only have to do a little bit of touch up at the end. For final sanding, it speeds up the process a little bit if you turn a small tenon on a waste block and sand it on the lathe rather than hand sand it. And again, on this piece, I put two coats of clear lacquer on it. So for this one, you can just go a little bit past where it screws on to the mandrel there and it threads right into the handle and what's nice about this style here is you don't have to put any glue on it it's pretty tight fit and then when you're done using it you can just pop the 
part off there and throw it in the dishwasher and wash it up. You don't need to worry about the handle. And then for this style here, you need to put a little bit of glue in it. And so I'm going to use a little bit of expanding glue and just coat that just a little bit. Try not to get it on the on the end here because it does expand. So only go maybe about three quarters of the way down when you put it on. A little bit like that and try not to get it on the outside. And then just kind of coat the inside of it a little bit. Just like that. Let that set up and you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put some pictures of all these up at the end too. And the mandrel I used, that's from Ruth Niles. These are great for bottle stoppers too. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find those. And the utensils, these are made in England and they're cast with the tine in them. I know they're a little more expensive than the pressed ones, but these aren't gonna break on you. That's, they're good quality stuff. And this little guy here, I didn't glue it in yet. Ugh. <laughs> It's a bottle opener and it's made by a blacksmith right here in Oregon. So that's very cool. And he's making them for Craig at Chef Work Kits. I may have to make a trip up to see him. That's that's neat. These are as far as the project goes, this is a great skill building project. These they only take about 10 or 15 minutes, depending on what type of finish you use, but it's a great way to learn how to use the tools and practice. All right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. And again, I'm doing live shows throughout the week. So if you'd like to stop by, I've been posting the link on Facebook, but the link to the Hangout is on my Patreon page and it's open to everybody. And I'd like to thank Pat Lab for that. He sent me that blank. Thank you very much. He sent it to me for a pen, but I, sorry, Pat, I made a pizza cutter into it. And Zach Yangen sent me that a while back. So thank you very much, guys. All right, till next time, take care. And if you would, please like and share the video. It really helps out. Till next time, take care.